This is the AAT Advanced Diploma in Accounting, Synoptic Assessment Sample 1, Task 2.2. And it says, with Sam Jones, a part qualified accounting technician who works for BLM & Co, a business which manufactures and sells sinks. BLM & Co is owned and run by Brian and Luke Marnie Moore in partnership. It then goes on to say that today's date is the 20th of April and that we had originally budgeted to sell or to make and sell 5,000 sinks in the quarter, 31st of March 2008, but due to a marketing campaign, we've actually made and sold 6,000 sinks in the quarter, so 1,000 more than we budgeted for. That's important for when we come to do the flex budget later. Um, I'll, I'll go through that shortly. So I've downloaded the assessment and I've given it the name that's suggested. Then it says open the rename file, which I'll do shortly. And it says in the worksheet called the original budget, calculate the percentage to flex this budget in line with the information above and insert this percentage figure in, in D1. So in D1 up here, we've got, so there's 5,000 sinks we've budgeted to make, but we've produced 6,000. So that's 1,000 more than we expected. So equals 1,000 by 5,000 which is a 20% increase in what we expected. Let's just change that percentage. No decimal places. Okay. It then goes on to say um, in D4 enter the title flex budget. And then it says calculate the flex budget for the relevant entries using the absolute reference where appropriate. So what that means is we're going to go equals so C5. So C5 plus C5. So times the 20%. That's an absolute cell because it needs to stay the same as we drag it down. So I'm going to press F4 and you notice the dollar signs appear around D1. That's the absolute cell. And then drag it down. Okay, but just bear in mind, as it says in the question take note, that we've got our fixed overheads here of admin, which is 80,000. So I'll change that back because they're obviously fixed and the selling and distribution fixed overheads 90,000 it says in E4 enter the actual results and we're going to copy and paste those but it wants us to link them I'll just change these so it's the same so the headings are the same Aerial. Okay, the question now wants us to, it says, it wants us to copy and paste the actual results from the worksheet on the bottom, but using paste links. So let me show you what we're going to do. Click on actual results. I'm going to highlight the information and copy. When I paste it, watch what happens. I'm going to right click. You see you've got these options here and that one there it says paste and you've got a link. So it pastes the link. Okay, when it comes to checking whether you've done it correctly, if I click on any of those you'll see that at the top it's the actual results. Rather than just copy and paste it. So it, okay. And in F4 so the title variance is calculate revenue. Okay. So you have to be careful here because, say, for the revenue, we're going to do it in comparison to the budget. So are we up or down on budget? So this one D5 minus E5. Opposite way around. 
Oh, sorry. Actual results minus budgeted is 15,000. Okay. Now, when it comes to the cost, because obviously that's a positive variance that our revenue is greater than our budgeted, but you can see that our materials costs are flexed to 108,000, but the actual is 105, so it's 3,000 pound better than we expected. So this time it's flex budget D6 minus E6. And I'm just going to carry that down. You can see. B16 into operate operating profit. So and then calculate the variance. So equals or operate the profit C5 minus the sum for all the costs. I mean to put sum before it minus the sum of and it says the same for the flex budget and the actual results. In F sixteen it us to calculate the overall variance so equals the actual results minus budgeted 16,200 okay it also says use conditional formatting in column F to show all the favorable variances in green and adverse variances in red so I'm going to highlight over them. Go on to conditional formatting. So format only cells that contain. So you'll see. So firstly, what we'll do are those that are greater than zero. So greater than zero. I think wants them to be green. see them change. I'm going to do a new row, the one where it's less than zero. So less than zero. This one wants to be red. Then says for part C, put an if statement in F18 that will show a balance if the total if the column total is balanced, and check if they do not. So what it's basically asking is so in F18, I'm going to put an if function that says that if the actual results minus the flex results equals 16,200, it's a balanced budget. If not, then it will need to check. So let me show you. So we're going to look for the formulas. I tend to go on to recently used because it tends to be there, but I can go on to if function tends to be there, so click on if. So it's asking, so if the actual results, so the logical test, so if the actual results, so E16 minus D16 equals F16, that will be balanced. And if not, check. And you can see it's come at balance because it is it does actually work out. It then asks us to put yellow background and black border around balance. So let's go back to let's go and see as a yellow. Let's put a black border on it. Okay. 
it says make sure all column headings are in bold and adjust all cells so that contents can be seen. I think we're okay. Let's make that a bit bigger. It now says copy and paste A3 to, A, uh, to F15 and paste only the values into a new worksheet. Name this worksheet subtotal. So A3 down to F15. I'm going to copy to a new worksheet. Right click, rename. Watch when I paste it. So we're going to paste. So you get various options, and it does tell us in the question to paste only the values. So you've got values. So I'm just going to paste the values. You can just make it a little bit bigger. You have to be careful not to double click this one because it'll be too big. Okay, it says in the newly created worksheet called subtotal, delete the row that contains the revenue amounts. So delete. And then it says place subtotals for each of materials, labour, variable overheads and fixed overheads. Let me show you what we do. So we're going to highlight over all the table. And then you'll notice if you just click on on data. Yep. So you'll see you've got different icons on the top there. You've got subtotal. So I'm going to click on subtotal. Okay. And it says that it wants us to go does it what headings does it want? It wants original budget, flex budget and actual results. Variance columns to that. It says hide the detail to only show the subtotals and grand total not the individual components so watch what happens okay so if you click on two which is what it's asking the question so you'll see that's what the information that we need so it's only show the subtotals and the grand totals that's it for 2.2d turn over onto e it tells us to go to the original budget and it says to do a spell check so if you go on to review and on to spelling yes from the sheet and you'll see materials is incorrectly spelt so we'll change that that's fine it says for variances from the variances in cells F5 to F15, identify the most significant favourable variance and the most significant adverse variance. Insert the appropriate text in column H. So we can see the most favourable variance is the revenue. most adverse selling distribution I'm just gonna and that's it so we've done task 2.2 I'm not going to go through the email at this point but um, I should also note it's the first time I've done this recording so if I've stuttered a little bit please forgive me and I'll get better as we go on. Thanks very much.